No. Would you do it again if they asked? Oh, heck yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I need to redeem myself. Right now, I'm just like the COVID-15 survivor. <laughs> I love that in your Instagram bio, it says um, OC COVID season 15 survivor. I mean, and I think that's so amazing. And I love that you're kind of, you know, like you said before, it was kind of a devastating time, but now looking back on it, how do you feel about the whole experience? Well, keep in mind, um, I was going through a major divorce yeah. in a sexless relationship and miserable. <laughs> and then I get this gig on the housewives. <laughs> I'm like, I must be perfect for them because like <laughs> this, this can't get any worse. <laughs> so to have them film me um, during that devastating time was, uh, I'm going to say it was very hard. Um, very, very hard on my psyche. There's a lot of haters, trolls. I didn't even know really what trolls, I mean, I, I knew what they were, but I never experienced such negativity. Um, and I think a lot of people like to, when you're down, they like to kick you even harder. And so having the ladies kick me harder on the show was just even worse because I thought I get this gig working with these amazing women and then they're just smashing me left and right. Right. So that was devastating. And then, you know, Jimmy and I, you know, he basically did not want to be on the show. And it was just like, as soon as the show was over, he was like, I'm out. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so that was devastating. Uh, you know, he blamed me for being on The Housewives and how terrible of an experience it was. And so I, I had that feeling of, you know, he's a tech guy, introvert. And I, you know, I had all this guilt of all this stuff, divorcing my husband. So I guess to meet Nicole was like, okay, honey, what do I do now? <laughs> I'm pretty much asked in every direction I'm going, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. So. I mean, like you said, you were, you were going through the split during the show, but do you feel like the show intensified that even more, you know, or, uh, or do you think, yeah, a hundred percent. Hundred percent. You know, my uh, my ex was you know was dating multiple women at the same time, and they were all coming at me at different angles, and I didn't know who was who, and so that was I didn't want them to be hurt by anything I said if they're trying to start a relationship with him because I want him to be happy ultimately. Mm -hmm. But then I just got sick of it. I was like, go. Oh. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay leave me alone. Uh, and then you know, Jimmy, the whole yeah, situation. Super nice guy, did not deserve, I guess, to be on TV. I thought it was a great opportunity to start a new business and sure. have fun with some ladies. And I mean, it was kind of like winning the golden nugget. You know, you're like, the show's pretty, pretty amazing. You could showcase Orange County and I love my, my town. And mm -hmm. I just thought it was gonna be a lot better of an experience, but unfortunately, oh, my computers are all restarting. No worries. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it's, you know, unfortunately it wasn't, it was a great experience working with the team, but as far as me personally and my love life, um, it was devastating all the way around. And it still is, it's, it's hard to date because they're like, oh, you're an Orange County housewife. You're like, what? <laughs> I mean, I got fired. I'm almost proud of it. Okay? Right, yeah. Like you feel like now, like you got kind of labeled after being on the show. One billion percent. Um, I was embarrassed to go out for a while because First off, you get fired, and that means you're not doing your job. And for me personally, and um, secondly, the drama that they brought out on the show was really devastating for me. And thirdly, uh, the cast that I had during that whole season was different than the normal cast. So I was hoping to work with Vicky and Tamara, mm -hmm. but instead I get what I got. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what happened to the OGs? I get the oh no's, fuck. <laughs> What am I going to do here? <laughs> did you have like any idea that the firing was was coming and how did that happen? How did they tell you and um, were you completely shocked by it? Completely shocked. Uh, I was told the Friday before by my manager, um, who's two shorts manager, David Wanthrop, that I have the gig again. It's awesome. Amazing. Congratulations. He went to Mexico to celebrate. I was celebrating here in Orange County. And then the day of my announcement, um, they announced Heather Dubrow instead, which is fine, whatever. But I was ultimately shocked, not because of me and my ego, mm -hmm. because I had to deal with my vodka. <laughs> like I was thinking I'm having and I didn't even get to. I didn't even get to uh, what do you call that, uh, you know, re fix like show people who I really was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and who I could be after such a devastating experience. I wanted to show people like, look, you can come out of this okay. 
it's okay. Like I'm completely smashed, hit, run over by a truck, but okay, I'm here again. And now let's see what I can do by staying positive and being this and this. I didn't get to do any of that. So really I kind of ended on this weird note and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. I guess I'm, it is what it is. <laughs> right. Like, I mean, I, I always think it's unfair to have like a, you know, kind of like a one and done. It's like, you never really get to know that person. And I feel like that was like what what happened with you. We didn't really get to know you. Do you, do you know, do you, did you ask why, or did you ever get the answer as to why you were let go? Was it because Heather came back? Was you know, I, I think it was because, it, and this is an ultimate, this is, I believe this with all my heart that one of the cast members brought up such negativity and drama in my personal life from my past mm -hmm. that should never have been on a housewife show. In hindsight, I'm glad it came out because I, a lot of women reached out to me and said that I was brave for talking about it, but there's really nothing I could have done. I couldn't deny it. You know, I couldn't. I can't deny, I can't lie. And so I just had to let it all out. And I think that that negativity was something that the producers were kind of like, that's heavy. Um, and this is supposed to be a show about a bunch of drunk women, you know, going on boats and yachts and jets and getting wasted under bars with tequila, you know, and spanks on that are coming off. <laughs> uh, so I think the negativity of that season and COVID, uh, being filmed during COVID was such such a negative experience for a lot of the women that the, the vibe was just bad and they needed to revive it. And if they had to let me go to revive it, hey, I'm a business owner, I totally get it. Um, it of course, it hurts my feelings. <laughs> I'm like, why me? But uh, I, I totally understood.